Life is not normal. Welcome to JTEF7. My name is Justin Sampson, and uh, I'd like to welcome my other host. 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 I'm the co-host. I'm sorry. Hello, I'm Ethan Portner. And I'm Justin Townsend. Clearly I'm the more important one. And this is JTEF7. Uh, for those of you who don't know at all what this is, because quite positively we do not know what it is either. We just wanted to sit down and talk. You can't have a good YouTube channel without talk. Yeah. Take Rhett and Link, for example. And Peanut Butter Game. Mm -hmm. We are subscribed to them, so... You can probably find that link around the channel somewhere, like by subscription right. or something. There, you know. Th there. Anyway, that'll be. So what's something crazy, man, that's happened? Well, I have uh, something written down in my uh, notes around here. Yeah, I'm just. So um, yeah, there's this one time where I was riding my bike. I was doing a biking uh, merit badge for Boy Scouts, and I was biking down this bike path, going super fast, wind in my hair, I felt free, just, it was a great feeling, and, and, there, and then this old guy came out from like, the, he was like a hobo or something, he was like seven years old, he like crawled out from the side, he came, he took a fist, he punched me in the face, and I flew off my bike, and my bike crashed into him, and he was on the side, and then... My, my bike it flew apart, there were like metal parts sticking out, so I took one of the metal parts and I stabbed him in his kidney, and he fell over on the side of the road. Yeah, and then I left him, and then I made up a whole story that I accidentally ran into him, and, and my bike hit his, his kidney, and his, yeah, with the handlebar. It's a pretty intense moment. I never told anyone the true story before, but it's pretty. That, that's a wee bit exaggerated. I'm not exaggerating anything. He was crazy. Just a wee. I said I've never told anyone to choose to. The old man might have been crazy. He might have been crazy. I'll admit to that. Um, my crazy story is back in the olden days of elementary school, I liked playing handball. You know, for those of you who don't know what handball is, you just hit a ball against the wall. And it's fun for an elementary school. I guess it's kind of still fun now, but... Basically what happened, me and my buddy were playing some handball, and this jerk comes out of nowhere, snags the ball, and just runs away from us. So we're like, hey, we've got to get our ball back. So we started chasing him down. It was like for five minutes we were running after him. And eventually we cornered him in this, like, warehouse thing. Like there was a warehouse, and behind that was this wall. So I went on one side, he went, my friend went on the other. So we were like, oh, we got you now. Give us back our ball. And so this teacher came in, this aide, and she was like, what are you guys doing? And we're like, we're trying to get our ball back. And she's like, no, I saw what you were doing. You were bullying that kid. And so we're like, no, we're trying to get our ball back. He took the ball from us. And she's like, I don't want to hear it. You're coming with me. So we went to the principal's office and she was like, these kids were bullying a kid. And we were like, no, we're just trying to get our ball back. And we, uh, Ethan, <laughs> and we trying to get it back. We we're trying to convince her. She was like, no. You guys have to sit down at lunch on the bench for five days for the rest of this week. And so I was royally ticked off. And there's a lot of other cruel and unusual punishments. Well, school. on the subject of cruel and unusual punishments, I got a lot of those in third grade. Third grade was the year that I started hanging out with my best friends, Sean Gallagher and Chris Connor, Cotter. Now, these two were, they were trouble. And it was the best. We'd get, we'd get in trouble at least once a day. Um, I could just tell stories and stories, but one of these awesome stories... Incidents. Incidents. Was when there's, the, there's this tree by the back of our school, and there's a fence next to the tree. And the tree, there's a gap between the tree, the fence, and the back wall, and it, it was like a room. It was a pretty decent sized room. And then there's, there was unfinished chain link fence, and, what are you doing? I'm just adjusting the camera. And there was this unfinished chain link fence, so over the course of a few weeks, oh dear. we took the chain link fence and we built a fortress out of this tree, and it was like our clubhouse. Everyone wanted to go in there. It was so awesome, but we wouldn't let anyone in. It was just us three, and we'd like make books and like storm in there, and have like pictures everywhere. It was 
It was pretty awesome. Mm. Until one day, there was a jealous guy who wanted to get in our awesome club in the tree, but we didn't let him. So he got so mad that he went to the teacher and told on us. So here's where it gets interesting. Twenty people who wanted to be in the club were with the teacher as she was walking over to our clubhouse. We we were inside. We saw her coming. We ripped the door off and sprinted in different directions. I went into the bathroom, Sean and Chris got caught, didn't get in trouble at all. That is how you avoid trouble. I remember I avoided trouble this one time. Uh, another handball incident. Handball. Handball was evil. It was like, what was worse though yeah, was... underground handball. What was, what was worse though was tetherball. Tetherball was worse, but I'll get back to the handball story. Me and my friends were playing this handball game where we would like basically have one person up against the wall and then we'd just throw the ball at them. If they got hit, they'd be out. And if they dodged a ball that we threw at them, then we'd have to go up on the wall. So we were doing that and a bunch of other people were getting hit and then I saw this teacher aide coming over so I knew she was like gonna... Give get in trouble. Okay. And so, gotta be extra careful. This is an underground operation, yeah. much like must, mu much like most of the things that there's are doing Nazis right. after us. Anyway, you can. anyways, but so I saw this teacher's aide coming over, and I was just like, "Oh dear." Well, she's gonna obviously get us in trouble for hitting each other. I think she knew because she was like, "Hey," like she was like yelling at us, and so I like stealthily sneaked away. It was funny. Oh yeah. I was just like, I just sneaked away and watched as my friends all got like in trouble. It was hilarious. Very many instances like that. I loved. You know, I have a lot of disgusting stories, but I can save that for the next episode. Disgusting stories. We should do that. We should. Anyway, we're going to also make a new Bounty Hunter episode. Make sure to watch that. It's going to be awesome. We're introducing a new villain. Ooh. A recurring villain. Yes, very recurring. You'll see who he is. You'll see. My name is Justin Townsend. And I make the point clearly the more important one. At least that's what he thinks. And thank you for watching JTAF7. Please stay tuned for...